Welcome back, everybody. Today, as you can see, we are going to intentionalize our wardrobes. Now, for those of you who are new, intentionalize is all about anticipating difficulties and frustrations and then solving those problems before they even begin. And one of the most universal frustrations women have with their wardrobe is when we can't quite put together an outfit that we actually want to wear. Let's say you're getting ready to go on a date night with your husband and you want to wear that dress, but you don't have shoes to match. Or you do have a pair of shoes, but those are the ones that hurt your feet. Or you've got got the dress, you've got the shoes, you put it on and you don't love the way you look. And that frustration builds up inside of you until you blurt something out like, I have nothing to wear or I hate my clothes. And then your husband looks at you like you're crazy because how can you say you have nothing to wear when you're standing in front of a closet filled with clothes? And why is it that you hate your clothes so much when aren't you the one who bought that stuff in the first place? Well, today I'm going to share with you a simple strategy for how to alleviate that frustration. Working from one end of your closet all the way to the other, you begin to sift through looking for pieces that you haven't worn in at least a year. That means you've gone through all four seasons, all of the major events of a regular year, and for whatever reason, you've chosen not to wear that piece. When you come across something like that, you pull it out and you ask yourself, why? Why haven't I worn this? Is it because I don't love the style? Is it because it doesn't fit me very well? Or maybe you'd like to wear it, but it's a little see-through and you haven't found the right camisole to go underneath it. Or maybe you like it okay, it fits okay, but you've got 10 other shirts and you always seem to choose a different shirt over this one. And then you ask yourself, what is the probability that I actually will wear this thing in the upcoming year? And if you kind of have this suspicion that maybe you should be getting rid of this, maybe you're probably not going to wear it, we don't need to make that decision right now. You just go to one side of your closet, slide all the clothes over, and hang it up. I like to put a little scrunchie on the bar as a marker for where that section begins. Now let's say you look at it and go, no, 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 I would love to wear it, and I'm actually on the hunt for a good camisole, and I'm sure I'm going to find one, and once I get one, I'll be wearing this thing all the time. Well, you don't want to put it back because you still can't wear it. So what you do is you go to the other end of your closet, slide the clothes over, and hang it up over there. When you are done sifting through your entire wardrobe, you will have separated out all of those uncooperative clothes. And what you're left with in the middle are all of the pieces that you can wear. And this will alleviate that outfit frustration. Next time you get ready for a date night, you're not even gonna bother looking at those pieces on the ends because you already know those don't work. I'm gonna head straight for the middle section where I'm confident that I can put together an outfit that's complete that I want to wear. This strategy is very useful, but it obviously doesn't solve all of your wardrobe problems. If you are really motivated to completely transform the way that your clothes work, you should definitely check out the Wardrobe Lessons series. There's a link in the description. Over the course of seven lessons, I walk you through the entire process step by step. And if you follow through to the end, you will have a wardrobe that makes getting dressed so much easier. Thank you for joining me here and check out our other Intentionalized videos. Bye.